Earlier today, a guy brought in a double barrel flintlock shotgun, and it is one of the most beautiful and interesting guns that have ever come into my shop. But the thing is, it has gold inscriptions, and I have no idea what they mean. So I called in my buddy Sean, who's an expert in antique arms and armor. All right, so what do we got? Oh, we got this. Man, <laughs> this is great. There's a lot of stuff going on here, and I'm going to try and explain what I'm seeing. My name is Sean, and I'm an expert in antique arms and armor. Right off the bat, examining this gun, I mean, it, it screamed authenticity. And plus, the, being so unique, having a side-by-side -side flintlock is just so cool to begin with. But then to have the addition of a spring bayonet, that just puts it over the top. Just from the, the overall form, I would say that this was made around 1750. There are three proof marks, one of which is a crown over GP for gunmaker's proof. The other one is a crown over V for viewed. And the other one is a crown over F, which means a foreigner's mark. And what's really, really intriguing is that these are English proofs on a French gun. And then you'd go, well, why is that so? There's some history here. This gun was originally manufactured in France, but modified in England by having the barrels cut back and a spring bayonet was attached to the top. And this added an extra, not only intimidation factor, but a lethal weapon. In that point in history, it was very, very lucrative for a guy who didn't want a real job to be a highwayman, to be a guy that would rob coaches. So in order to defend their wealthy passengers, they would want to outfit the coaches with a really good defense gun. And this definitely would have been it. So if you can imagine a group of guys trying to hold up a coach, you'd fire both barrels, and let's say another guy was coming at you, you'd hit this release, <laughs> and that bayonet would shoot out, and at least you'd have another form of defense. This thing is just nasty wicked. If someone was pointing that thing at me, they wouldn't have to shoot it. I would turn around and run in a minute. This is really interesting in here, too. And you'll notice that this is in gold overlay. It says Cannon Tordo, and that meant twisted barrel. Okay. Back in the day, a high-quality barrel was a twisted heated steel over a mandrel. They would mark it with Cannon Tordo so that people would know that this was of a high-quality steel. Okay. Do you know what something like this then is worth? Um, you know, a good guesstimate in an auction, because this is so unusual, 10,000. Are you serious? Absolutely. All right, thanks for coming in, Sean. Oh, I absolutely. really appreciate it. I wanted this thing before Sean came in, and after hearing what Sean said, I wanted even more. Because as a guy who loves guns, this is the jackpot. How much you want for the thing? Realistically. <laughs> Um, can you do six? I mean, these are auction prices he's talking about, and... Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking 2500 bucks, cash money. Five. Okay. I want the gun, um... You want to buy a guitar, right? Yeah. Okay, I want to buy your gun, so I can give you $4,000 in guitar. Well, that's an option, but I don't want a bunch of $50 uh, Fender Squire Strats. You got uh, something good? I have the guitar. How about like a 78 Les Paul, all original? Give me two minutes. Let's see it. I'm all about creative solutions. This guitar is beautiful. So beautiful, I don't even want it on the showroom floor. Because 50 people a day are going to want to hold it and play with it. I think someone bought it in 78 and put it in this case and never picked it up again. Neck straight, it's probably the original T-top pickups. Everything's absolutely original. There's no belt buckle scars on it. No, there's n no rash, no dings. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that guitar. Someone bought it, put it in a case, threw it in a closet for 30 years. Damn, this is, this is beautiful. It's guitar for the gun. Guitar for the gun. <laughs> I think we got a deal. Okay, thanks a lot. Beautiful. All right, you grab your guitar, I'll grab the gun, we'll go do some paperwork. Right on. I never would have guessed in a million years that I could take this gun in and I'd be walking out with a $4,000 guitar. I, I was hoping to get a couple hundred dollars for this thing. So uh, he made my day. Uh, it's made my year. This is awesome. I'm really happy.